Howdy folks, how are you today? And welcome back to the Chad Keegan YouTube channel, Trucking Edition Spectacular. And today we are going to be changing out this guy right here because we all know that he pisses air and it's irritating um, unless it's shoved in. I guess um, my biggest thing is how to get this freaking little clamp, this little clamp thing that comes with this. I, I have no clue on how to get this clamp out for this guy. Um, I was extremely shocked that they had this sitting on the shelf there at uh, Fleet Pride. But yeah, this little guy, I, I'm not sure. I just don't know. Are you? What do you squeeze that? I mean, what do you even squeeze that with? I've got this guy right here. And I just don't know if this would work or not to squeeze this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it. I just don't understand. I don't get it. What are you, how the freak are you supposed to even do this? So I guess that's something we're going to figure out. Because I don't, I don't know. Oh, man, it's like not even freaking closing up any. Is there a special tool for this? Because I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Kind of like I don't understand what's going on. I went mushroom hunting again today. I went yesterday. Didn't see anything. I went today. I seen <clears throat> something. But what I'd found looked like it had been up for, you know, a couple weeks. So I guess we'll cross this bridge when it comes. But we got to get this one off first. That way we can unhook all this. And I, I got most of the stuff, but I'm going to have to go and get the rest of the shit. But let's get in here. Let's get this screw, guy, screw out real quick. And then we can flip this bad boy open and we can get in there. Because we need to get in there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Got him. Got him. Okay, we only have one up in here, so we're just going to pull this up like this. And unfortunately, we don't have anything that is... This right here goes to the horn that's over there. We don't have anything that... Um, I wonder if that's supposed to go to that one. No, it's supposed to go to there like that. You know, I don't know. We don't have anything to hold this crap up. So we may use a water bottle. Yeah, that water bottle weighs enough to hold that back like that. Right on. So we got that taken care of now. We're going to have to um, get down in here. We have to unhook this guy, this guy, and um, apparently that's it. And there's a ground right here for something. Maybe this guy up here. I don't know, but we got to undo these. Undo these two. And then there's one down at the bottom too. And I should probably mark these. Supply, uh, delivery, and there's something else down there. So I need to go get some of that funky tape I have so I can mark around the stuff. That way I don't... Um, I don't... Um, Put the wrong stuff at the wrong places you know what i mean because here's the new one bada bling bada bloom supply delivery c-o-n whatever that's supposed to mean and then this guy will come through and he's got the same thing i don't i don't know maybe i'm going to i don't maybe i'll go to the store exhaust Maybe I'll go to the store and I'll figure something else out. Like if I could get like a little cotter pin or something to stick in there. Because I don't know, man. I just don't know. So that's the stuff we're going to be doing today. Because we didn't, you know, we failed yesterday on those slack adjusters. But I, I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, there's got to be some kind of puller. That I can, you know, the three prong puller. I'm like, dude, I, I, I'm not a barbarian. I'm, when I'm out there hunting mushrooms today, I'm thinking to myself, I'm not a barbarian. I can't just pry shit off that's been on since 1983. Those are probably the original slack adjusters. So I'm going to run back up to Harbor Freight and I'm going to get one of them pullers, those three thing pullers, and just grip on that thing and boom, boom, crank that off. Then I'll swap them out uh, at another time. But I guess as long as they work, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, you know, that's what I'm talking about. On the show, on the Chad Keegan YouTube channel. Show.
got improvised, baby, you got to use those improvisions. Well, you are upside down, but um, you know at least you're in there. I don't, I don't know any other way to uh, get you in there to where you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this um, the supply line red, and uh, the other line white, and then I will leave the one line off completely because uh, I don't need it on. Actually, I can just do this. And I mean, I don't know which one goes where because the hoses, the length of the hoses and stuff is uh, what it is. So I'm going to just do this though real quick. That way I know when I come to it and I got some thread tape and stuff for these lines, but and I got to figure out how to get this guy off. That's, um, that's going to be a problem because I don't know how old that is. You know, I may even tap. I may have to drill that out. I'm not sure yet. But at least we're being proactive and uh we're putting some stuff on here. That way we don't um we don't forget what's what. And we're doing it. Cause we don't need to forget anything. And um I usually go, I'm gonna take off uh, I'll take this guy off first, then I'll take that guy off. I don't I don't remember. I've done this I don't know how many times. It just depends um, which one. Yeah, I'll we'll just go with this guy right here because he's coming off easy. And um, to get these routed, when I do this, it's a it's a pain in the butt. It's just not a ton of room back here. And like that ground, I'm gonna have to take that whole thing apart. I don't know how many times I've messed with this thing. And if I if this was a screw on one, I could have easily taken this out and um, you know probably repaired it because I'm sure it's just a seal. But the only thing is, is once I get, I'm gonna end up probably breaking this off because I have no clue how to get that thing out of there. If there's like some kind of special tool or some shit, I'm not sure. You know, it's stuck. He's stuck on that one. So let's get this guy out of here. Let's try at least. Let's tighten. Get off of there. Yeah, this motherfucker stuck right here on this. Get off there. Got him. Alrighty, so there's that one. No, nope, righty tighty. This should just turn off. If I'm lucky. Come on, you're almost there. And you are there. You're just stuck on there, aren't you? Get off of there. God, I hate digging around back here like this because I feel like I'm gonna freaking slice my fingers on something. You know what I mean? Oh, you're just stuck. You just wanna be fucking stuck on there. This stupid ass thing's moving all over. Get off of there. Yeah, I'm gonna take that white tape with you. I'm gonna have to get something to grab him. Okay, never mind. I got him. I got him. You know, that's a small line right there. There's a stupid tag in the way for that small line. But at least we can, you know, you can't really shove these anywhere because they are so stiff and tight for being so old. I need to um I need to get this thing off. I'm probably gonna have to drill that out because I have no clue how to get this thing out here. As old as old and small as this is, I just don't know. I mean what do you what do you use on this thing? Frickin' needle nose or something? Like seriously what? What well, slams on that bad boy enough to where it can go? That's what I need to know. I need to know it. 
Let's get this ground on hook. That's too big. Must be a sub sixteenth because the three eighths is too small. Yep. Now let's see. We see if we can do this right here. I love these. That's tight. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get in there and do it. All right, that's good enough. I should be able to do it by hand. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna have to come back again because we got to figure out this this guy right here. I'm gonna have to do some research or something. And I probably should have took a picture, but oh well. We know what we're doing. That ground. That's a not a bad place for a ground. After we get done with this, we're gonna hook that subwoofer up. And I'm not exactly sure how much shit I'm gonna have to take apart. I hopefully I don't have to take a ton of stuff apart. Might be able to just slip my hand and run some wires if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, I don't I just don't know. Let's um we gotta get this guy loose. So we can get this stupid tag out the way. Okay, get that tag out the way. And then we can get down on that one. We can wait. We can wait to get down on that. This one's been replaced. It's plastic. That one's original. This one has been replaced. And you know, I don't know what... Um, this guy's got something different in him. Holding that one. But yeah, that's a plastic one. So this has been replaced sometime. But uh, I don't think it's the same as this. With the three banger. And uh, that one's only got two, two. The blue one. So we got um, we got some issues. We got to figure this out right now. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna probably get a drill and just run a, a drill down in there. And I don't know. Well, we got her now so i gotta do is get something to twist this bad boy off so we're gonna do it well we got her or you got her broke free i could call dispatcher real quick um we'll see what's going on let's see what's going on that way they know i can run tomorrow because uh i don't think they know I ain't Thank talked you for to anybody. ICG Logistics. Ah! Hey, this Chad, how you doing? I'm doing good, hon. How are you? Okay, I'm not bad. Just calling to let you know. Go ahead and dispatch me for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I got. I'm Sounds gonna. Good. I'm gonna be running the blue chalk for a while until I get the green chalk taken care of. So I'm just taking care of a few things that way i know it's solid and uh we'd be good all right sounds good i'll get you some stuff set up all right cool thank you oh do me a favor don't give me any don't give me anything that has to be in at any certain time because it's mushroom season so i'll be mushroom hunting um okay so i won't start until at least afternoon okay okay hon. all right cool thank you i just wanted to give you a heads up real quick Yep, sounds good. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Then well, got that taken care of there. So this is out nine. We got nine six taints. We got bust this. Get off. Get off there. Get this guy off. And we'll just set everything back up. We'll put everything back in there. And uh, we'll be good to go. I, th I think I got a bunch of thread tape on these things. I don't know. I don't think, I don't, I've never taken this out completely like this. So I don't know. Get off there. These things right here piss me off. Get off of there. Come on. You know, I don't want to like, pull this thing so hard to where I rip out the other side or something. You know what I mean? 
But uh, this is a pain in the butt. Got him. Ouch. Just hit my freaking wrist on something. All right. Well, now all I got to do is swap the things out, the fittings here. Replace them on the other one. And uh, we be good. We be good to go. That's too big. So that's that. Here, let's get you a different angle real quick because we got you down on that real quick. That's what we got. So let's get you right back here. Let's get you right here like this and then I'll um, I just swap the stuff right here in front of you. That way you can see it. So we'll go with the bottom one first. It says it's an eighth. Takes a half inch. I guess um, the problem, that looks like it's some old ass thread tape, but it uh, should be okay. I don't know. The problem is figuring out which, um, which angle it needs to be at, you know what I mean? Because I'm pretty sure it was poking that way. I should have took a picture. I guess I'll, I'll crank it until I can't no more. I guess they're gonna be on the side. Okay, it's right like that, I believe. So that tag was right there. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. This one looks a lot bigger. I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out. We'll find out here in a second, right? I guess we'll find out. Let's put the front one on. We need a bigger 916, so let's put the front one on real quick. Now I've taken this one and that other one off because I've tried to do shit down in there, but uh, nothing ever seemed to work. So it's what it is. We shouldn't have any air piss, we'll just run it up to the thread tape you know what i mean that's where it should need to be these things are like super close to each other so there's that one and that one is a five eight coming off with a five eight get out of there Man, this will be nice. I won't have to deal with this. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, and I don't know if I've said this or not, but um, I've got a bunch of tools in, oh, shit, the green truck. And I'm probably just going to run up town and buy the tools that I have in the green truck. And I'm going to put them in the blue truck and just have tools for both trucks. That way I don't have to worry about, um, you know, swapping tools out and shit. I'll just, I'll just carry the beer necessities. Great. I just dropped that. There it is. Beer necessity tools with me. That way I have them. That way I don't have to sit there and worry about switching stuff out. You know, I don't, I don't want to, uh, I should just have, I got double of a lot of things, but I should have double of like everything. Let's see if I can get that to go around one more time. Come on. Oh, I don't want this too tight, but at the same time, I want it where it's tight enough. Okay, one more, just a little bit more. There you go. Got him. All right, that's I probably should have done in the first place, but it's what it is. You know what I mean? So that should be good and just leave that like that can i get this to turn one more time all the way around yeah all right hmm now we'll get you back up top here and we'll try to hook her up here and see how it goes you know what I'm talking about? Let's get you back up here how you were. Right here on the Cobra microphone. And we'll stick you there. Yeah. 
And we'll throw this bitch in here first and hook it up just like we had the other one and do the exact same thing we did because we can and then we'll be we'll be good to go as long as that as long as that um screw on the front is the same as that plate and you know i'm thinking to myself I, I might be able to still use that red, the original one, instead of swapping them out. Just for the nostalgia of that, you know, because I like I like nostalgic things. And perfect. Maybe. Okay, that's like that, maybe. Yeah, that's like that, yeah, because that was down there, I bet. Let me see if I can get this plate and stuff back on here real quick. Mm, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Can you see that? You see that shit? That is perfect. Get that plate set. Centered up here, just like so. And then, we doing it. Um, Let's put this one on first, if we can get it get to go there we go we got him get out of there boy that thing is just all the way freaking back here i got it get out of there oh come on got him got him all right there we go. now it's turning i think nope you motherfucker. I don't, I don't know why this thing's not want to turn. Okay, there. Oh, it feels like it's like stripping out or something, but I'm that big guy. It's just never a good feeling. When it feels like it's starting to strip out. Because I should be able to yeah, hand tighten it more. I'm just going to hand tighten it until I can't no more. Because there's no point in making a quarter of a turn every... And taking an hour. You know what I mean? We don't want to take an hour. But, uh, once, I, once I get this taken care of. I'll probably start tearing that stuff apart. Get that subwoofer hooked up. Get mounted in the back. Yeah, see this is dumb. This is fucking stupid. There we go. There we go. Get it down in there. Get that subwoofer hooked up. And then I, I plan on running down to the shop real quick. Because I stopped in yesterday. Dropped them off one of those small pictures of the green truck. Because I was going to get filters from them. But then since I just picked them up from uh, Fleet Pride, you know. I didn't need to get the filters from them because I don't want to take their filters because you never know when they're going to need them for somebody else. So I, um, I dropped them off the picture to Frankenstein. My buddy messaged me and says, hey, I want one of them pictures. And uh, he's always works on my shit, you know what I mean? Occasionally when they're in there, stuff's in there. I don't feel like that's on right. Mm, guess it is. But um, I told him, I said, what'd you do with that one? They had framed it, the small one. So I told him I'd get us a print some eight by tens off for him because that's the shop that I always take my shit to. And they got traffic in there constantly. So that's advertisement for the channel. That's advertisement for me. That's, uh, you know, because I always, always put them on and always tell people that's where I take my stuff if I need to. You know, somebody buys a new truck and they're like, I don't know what to do, blah, 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 this and that. I need to get it, you know. I, I don't know what all needs to be done to it. I say, take it to the shop, have Josh look at it or Zane, and, and they'll tell you everything that needs to be done for it to pass a DOT. Because that's what I did when I first got this truck. I took it up there. I had them do a service on it. I want to change the oil and shit. So they changed the oil and then I had them uh, basically just go through the truck and tell me what all would, 
would what it would fail a DOT test for, you know? And um, so then I went home and I started working on my truck and I did everything I needed to. Okay, that's, that's not going nowhere, that is super tight. So this has changed. That's how you change up. Now, do we want this or do we want the new one? Old, 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 new, old. I think we'll stick with the old one. And I might be able to just slide this metal thing back down in there if I'm lucky. And um, won't even have to, um, you know, if I get that down in there, I might just be able to tap it down in with something. And almost positive it'll stay. Let me see what do I got down here. What do I got? Nope, not gonna do it. Let's see. Nope. I might just need to, I might throw something else in there because I don't know. I don't know what else to do with this or how to get it in there, you know, even. Try and crank on it with this thing. Not sure. I, I don't understand how it popped out of the other side, but it won't go in this one, you know? There's a lot of things I don't understand and this is one of them, folks. Just like I don't understand them shrooms, man. What's going on with them shrooms? But I know I'll get some more, so I'm not freaking out too much. I just wish I could pull some grays, you know? Let's see what we got going on with this one up here. Maybe we can use this new one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I couldn't get this thing to freaking squeeze together for shit with anything. Anything. I don't, I just don't understand this. What the fuck do you even use to get this thing to squeeze together? Like, I don't, I don't get it at all. Like, I can't even get it with these. I can't even get this shit with these. Cannot get that thing to squeeze together at all. Is there some kind of certain tool? Is there like a tool for this? I just don't get it. God. I cannot get that thing at all. I'm gonna figure something else out because I don't I don't even care. I don't want to be dealing with this shit. Forever. Forever. Yeah, just dumbfounded here. So I guess we'll be back. So I did some quick research here and it says just to uh, tap it in with a hammer. So I'm just gonna use this old one. You know, I'm just gonna hold this right here like this and I'm gonna try to tap that bitch in there. See if she goes. And, uh, oh, there it goes, look at that. Would you just look at it? Boom, it's in there, let's spin it around, yeah, it's in there, perfect, Um, so we're good, I ain't coming back out, we got the old one back on, so we got the nostalgia banging, baby, you know, we should be good, so I'm going to close this up because I don't need it open anymore, I'm going to pick up some of my masks, and that's cool, we got something we don't need. But uh, we got it, so whatever. Oh, where's that old one at? Put this in here. Oh yeah, I gotta hook that ground up first real quick. And put all this shit in here though that I don't need. 
And I'll keep that just for keepsakes because that's the kind of guy I am. Because um, I'm weird and I keep stuff I don't necessarily need. I just keep things, you know, just in case because it'll fit right in this little box perfectly. So let's throw that ground on real quick and then I'll clean this mess up and we're on to subwoofer. Subwoofer time. It is subwoofer time. Like I don't need any of this crap up here. Probably need that. Put that up there. So where's he at? Let's find that ground. Oops, sorry. Yep, nope, that's that's bigger than that. 716 says what the other size was. Are you kidding me? Who's calling me? Don't know ya. Hopefully they leave a voicemail. That's weird. I get calls on... You gotta be kidding me. The new phone. I got two phones here. Why is that too big? Well, I'm gonna have to run and grab something because that's a foreign... Um, leave a voicemail. That's a foreign one for what I got here. I got these regular one so i guess i'll be back for like the 15th time well i finished all that up i just did that off screen so i'm taking this apart right now because i got a boom 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 right here and some of this boom and uh run some wires back here and i'm gonna see if i can pull that deck out and see what's back here and um, i'm basically just doing this to be able to run the wires and to be honest with you, I'll probably pull that speaker out too, see if I can reach my hand back in there. Just so I can get the stuff to where it ain't in my way. You know what I mean? Because before I started running this truck again last year, I changed up, put these Pioneer speakers in because I just had some cheap uh, Walmart shit. I, I don't know what they were. They were cheap. I know that much right now. I know they were cheap because they were cheap. Interesting. Yeah, there's those things too. There's those things. So we'll have to deal with that when the time comes. I thought, let's get some of these out here. I really should have the drill so I can just biz, biz, biz. I don't have to sit here and crank because I know my wrist ain't going to be happy. So I may go get that power tool because I like power tools and um, power tools are helpful. And they're a lot easier to use because I got to get this guy off too. So I'm going to have to get... Um, I'm gonna have to get something. So that's what's going on. I got the subwoofer already back here. And uh it's it's right there. I just gotta throw some wires, those wires, and then I got a ground back here. I'll just have to hook the ground up. There is a remote wire, which I probably won't hook up. I tried to hook the remote wire up in the green chalk when I installed the green chalk. I even got a little switch up by the uh radio. It's supposed to be able to hook it up that way I could just flip it. But then I just ran it up to the 12 volts. It's got this nice um, fuse thing. You know what I'm saying? That way if something happens in a 15 amp fuse, you blow it if you short stuff out. But I'll just hook it up under here. Run it, boom. Back. We got this. We're going to do it. I'm going to pull these right here. See them? Right there. Just like that. We're doing it just like that. Uh, boom. We didn't have to take them out. We just left them in there. So, oh, that guy's got dust. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to show you. But I'll show you. Because, um, we got, we got all that dust. Ooh. Needs clean up. So, uh. Let's get back to where we were at this guy. Pull these out one, two. Um, right. Climb over here. Get this guy off real quick. You should be able to plug right in the back of the deck, the speaker wires, because I need both speakers hooked up. You know what I mean? Right and left. If I don't have right and left, then I'm going to have only one speaker pretty much playing. I had a old Ford Ranger that I used to toot around in that you don't, you never seen before because I got rid of it before I think I started the channel. And um, I used to scoot around in that thing all the time. It was, it was like my first wannabe rat rod. And I love that truck, love that man. freaking truck. Cause I just love that truck. But um, yeah. 
that thing would, um, only one side of the speakers worked because I had some cheap shit in there. That should be good. And, um, only one side of speakers work, so you didn't. You only heard like half the song. You know how sometimes they split off, and um, they go from side to side and shit. Well, that one only had one side always on. And this is about the most ghetto fabbed shit that you can you're ever gonna see right here on the Chad Keegan YouTube channel. Because when I bought this truck, there was no radio. Okay, period. Up here, and I had three wires to deal with. Well, I wanted the satellites radio, so I bought this big deck because I thought it'd be cool because I I actually can watch movies on this thing and everything, this deck here. So I had bought this because I wanted it because it had the satellite connector. And there was nothing for a radio up here, so I had mounted this diamond plate up in here, and it's... It's probably the most ghetto fab stuff you're going to see. Well, I guarantee it's probably not. And this guy was up here, and there was a real small hole for the radio, and that was it. But then I cut it bigger, and then I had to put this in here to be able to mount this Fine. stuff. Get off of there. So that's that. There's that big old deck, man. That deck. Just climb around like a monkey in a truck. I'll figure out where that red wire's at. It should be... Okay, it's right there in the front because there's a hole in the front too. So if I had this whole panel off, I would be able to, which I've already got it right here. So that's catching on that. Get out of there. And just to make sure that's not catching on anything, you know what I mean? Because what I might, I may have to add some to those wires. I just, I don't know yet. Okay, so they're tight right there. So I gotta figure out where they all go to. Looks like they end right here. So I may have to add to those wires, which it's not a big deal. I've got plenty of wire in the garage. So that's as far as they go. And then I'll probably get a koozie because the wife was nice enough to bring me this Miller light. to drink while I'm out here doing stuff. Cause you know, we like to have a, a adult beverage when we're out here doing stuff, cause we're doing it. So stay tuned. Um, you know, you always say, you know what we say on that radio. You know, this segment's brought to you by Defiance Truck Sales and Service uh, Incorporated. Anything you need. You need a cab over, you want an international cab over, give him a call, he's got plenty. Dude's always got cab overs up there. They take care of me anytime I need something. <sighs> Even though it's Kenworth stuff, they say, uh, it's nav starts, nav starts, Kenworth, called Kenworth, but usually they can cross uh, and stuff. Uh, turn that on to mute real quick so we don't get no issues i don't think we will 60s on six i don't think I, I i would hope nobody would care about that song but uh if i get banged for that i'm gonna tell them cut it out but uh everything's good so we should be good it's gotta hook everything back up now and put everything back the way it was and then on to the next thing so we got subwoofer in a truck we got a new dash i'll get everything buttoned back up we'll fire it up and we'll maybe take her down the road because I, I might need to check on my speed sensors and stuff like that. Because remember, the speedometer was cutting in and out. But uh, I don't know if we'll keep our eyes peeled on that. What up? Well, I, um, everything's taken care of on the truck that it needs to be. Subs hooked up. Everything's hooked back up. Uh, radio and everything works. I, I Bluetooth it or something like that, some shit, but I, I can't. So uh, the truck's running, obviously. I moved it. I made a minor clutch adjustment that I wanted to. Uh, engine oil pressure's 40, so I know we're good. And I checked the thing after I looked. Yesterday after I added that one and it was full. So um, I'm going to make a run real quick. We're just going to run down the road. Just hope the wife doesn't uh, try coming out after me or not. Just trying to see where my clutch is at when I let off the pedal, you know what I mean? And it, uh, it seems to be it's side. Swing 
prime tractor.
swap some tools around and stuff, which I might just park this one right next to it right now and do that. Before I back it up or do anything else with it. Because um, honestly, it's like the tire block up on the thing. Clutch is right freaking there, baby. Right freaking there. It doesn't jerk like uh, Frank does, man. Frank, you let that thing up. Like I said, I was going to go buy the tools, but I, I doubt it. I'll just grab what I need real quick. Shit. Oh, man, it seems it feels all right. I mean, it feels okay. So, all the lights work. Check all the lights and stuff. So, we good. We good to run her tomorrow. I already told her. Give me some loads, man. We're going to make some money in the blue truck. Mike in the comeback. Blue truck. Mike in the comeback, man. Blue truck. Mike in the comeback. Thing didn't even blow up or not. Barely spooched any out. Don't worry, folks. We're just sitting in the driveway. Okay, we ain't going down the road. Oh. We're sitting in the driveway. I just let this thing idle for a little bit, run. It hasn't ran for a while. Just let it run. I need to grease it. I forgot about that. I need to grease it, but I need to throw some mosh on it too. So. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just clean up the windows and go. I'm sure it'll be fine. It sounds good. Keep my eye on that speedometer though. They just swap out that sensor maybe. I gotta find the other one. I think it's in my thing. I've got so much crap in the garage that, um, I just don't know where it is anymore. I'm like losing my mind, you know what I mean? I've got to go through that garage here one of these days and just go through everything again with my wife and she's going to yell at me. I need to get a freaking dumpster and just start getting rid of stuff, unloading, I'm talking unloading stuff. One of these days though, one of these days I will. But. probably going to conclude this today and um, you know we'll be back another time maybe tomorrow I'll come back when I'm running I'll, I'll, I'll update you on the first run make sure everything's cool you know what I mean <laughs> nothing go wrong here's an air man pissing on this. man that's nice that thing ain't pissing air god that was, that was the easiest thing I did today whatever Whatever. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Um, blue truck's back. Green truck's going to get torn apart. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, man. Frankenstein going down. Frankenstein going down. Until next time, you know what we say. 